What's up guys? How's it going? Go back at you here with another video. We have a PSA review. Um, I don't even remember how many cards I have in here. Maybe 15 to 20. I think they're all vintage. Got them back uh, today. And it is Monday, August 19th. 8.25 p.m. And... <clears throat> had to send out with Alex. He had some cards to send out, so I sent out some stuff too with him. Um, and I told him, don't let me know what I got because honestly, I felt they were all going to be like PSA ones, um, which honestly were fine with me because I was just getting them graded just to get them slabbed. There's some Hall of Famers in here, some early year stuff. Um, and honestly, what I do is, is I'll go to a card show and um, look through. A lot of old timers uh, will have cheap Hall of Fame or vintage cards up there in like their dollar boxes, two or three dollar boxes, and I'll go ahead and buy those. So none of these cards I bought raw for more than three bucks. They're either one, two or three dollars. And um, I figured I'll take a shot on those every time, right? Like old Hall of Fame guys, I'll go ahead and, and buy those up all the time for one, two and three bucks. Most of them are a dollar. Um, so, anyway, I wasn't expecting anything better than a PSA one, but I just kind of thought it was cool to get them slabbed. So, we're going to see how we did right now. And I have zero clue um, what these are. It looks like here's the backs. Yep. All right. <clears throat> All right. Uh, this first one is a Rick Barry. I think this is a Rick Barry rookie card. This is the 7172. So, again, these all be cards that most of them I think I picked up in, at the Washington State Convention um, or one of our Auburn shows that we do through Twin Oaks. Just kind of getting my my checklist up on the side. If it pulls up quick enough. We had orientation today, so it was back to school <laughs> for the first time. And tomorrow we have our actual teacher meetings, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Nothing on Friday, and then boom, Monday is the first day of school. So, and then also tonight we handed out football gear to our high school players. We did uh, shoulder pads and helmets uh, today. So, it's been a long, long day today, a long Monday. Should have done this on the side so that way you guys aren't waiting. <laughs> So, yeah, this Rick Berry, uh, card number 170, is from 1971-72, and it is his rookie card. So, oh, it's a six. Well, this one, I mean, it's not in bad shape. So, and I say, like, oh, I don't expect more than the PSA 1, right? Because I'm always, like, skeptical, but obviously this is... A better copy than a one. There's no creases or anything in here. I think more so the baseball cards I weren't expecting very good grades on. Um, but obviously, 71. Uh, Rick Barry in a six. That's pretty fun. That's really cool, actually. So, very neat. Uh, the next one. This is an Eddie Murray rookie. This one is pretty OC, as you can tell from the back. And that one getting a four. So I didn't know how much they're going to knock things down. And uh, so, yeah, Eddie Murray rookies are always are always good. Um, so I, every time I find those in, like I said, the old heads, right? Like the old guys that have been doing this for decades. Um, anytime they have cards in their uh, cheap bins, they'll put like... A lot of cards will be in there semi-rigids, and um, they'll just be thrown in in tubs. And so I'll go ahead and, and look through them, and 
and grab them for sure. And anytime I see, you know, something like an Eddie Murray rookie, uh, you can go ahead and pick it up. So, and a four is fun. Very cool. Here we have an Ozzy Smith rookie, the 1979 uh, Ozzy Smith. So this one, card number 116, and that is in a five. So, you know, corner there, off center, corner there, corner there. So for, you know, the Eddie Murray, maybe there's a corner in the upper left. Definitely OC. There's probably some black specks on this. So, yeah, but, you know, Ozzy in a five. Like I said, rookie, you know, Hall of Fame rookie cards in fours and fives and sixes, Hall of Fame rookie cards, you know, definitely, definitely great grabs. Uh, the Ernie Banks is not a rookie. <laughs> that would have been something. Uh, but this is a later Ernie Banks. But again, anytime, you know, Hall of Fame cards pop up for <clears throat> one, two, three bucks, you know, you want to make sure you grab them. And that's in a five. So that's pretty nice. You know, Ernie Banks, 1970. Nice copy there in a five. Very cool. Uh, Harmon Killebrew. Again, not a rookie on this one. Card number 400. And this is from 1965. You can see he's already with, you know, from Washington Senators, then the move to Minnesota. And that's in a four. So PSA four in the 1965 uh, Harmon Killebrew. The Carl Yastrzemski, pretty beat, <laughs> I believe, on the top. You know, this is 1967. Carl Yastrzemski, again, off-centered and beat on the top. But that's in a four. So, very cool. Like I said, I wasn't expecting much because honestly, I've never graded vintage before. So this kind of gives me a a starting point. Well, I have graded vintage before. I think I've graded um, some like Willis Reed rookies and stuff like that through SGC. But I haven't graded like vintage Hall of Fame baseball guys through PSA before. So this kind of at least gives me some kind of reference point so like when i find stuff you know i know what to kind of expect <clears throat> hank aaron i figured that you know all these cards have been sitting here a while but i figured you know anytime you have like hank aaron cards it's probably a good idea to get those graded kind of doing that a little bit a little bit more now for example i sent off i think 30 cards recently like this week, I think I sent 30 cards off. So this is 1967. This is the uncorrected error card. And fair, 1.5. Huge crease right there. Um, you know, corner, 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 right? Edges, like how in the heck did this not get a 1? <laughs> 1.5, not much higher than a 1, but still, you know, still really cool. You know, a good picture. You know, one of the greatest to ever do it. So, you know, why not get him slabbed up? Uh, is this the Hank Aaron 65 embossed? Mm, maybe not. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. So a three... The 65 embossed Hank Aaron, again, you know, it definitely is, you know, the surface is bad, you know, corners and stuff. So this is one that I definitely thought I was going to, I was going to get a one on. So still very cool. Like I said, Hank Aaron's were, go ahead and getting those graded. Uh, the Mike Schmidt. 283 this is 1974 
and that's in a four, right? I know corner there, corner there. All these are gonna have corners and edges issues, right? Edge there, but still very cool. Uh, I have a couple of Bob Gibsons in here. This first one is the 1961, which I believe is the third year card. <clears throat> Yeah, 59 is rookie. Yep. Okay. So this is the 61. And that's in a five. That's really cool. Obviously, way OC, but still pretty awesome. And then the other one is the second year Bob Gibson, which is in much rougher shape. So this is probably going to be a one. Yeah. There's a one. Hey, crease, corners everywhere, creasing here. Right. But, um, you know, I'm not going to own. A rookie Bob Gibson unless it's a one um, so I figured a second year Bob Gibson would be pretty fun I'm pretty sure this was in the dollar box just because the guys like who would want that card because there's creasing all over well you know what I would want that card <laughs> second year Bob Gibson uh, the Rod Carew I believe is second year You know, and I, I when I talk about fighting dollar, two, three dollar cards in these vintage boxes, I'm not finding like 1960s Hall of Fame rookie cards in there for a dollar. But there's nothing wrong with second, third year cards uh, of these guys. So this is, yeah, the 1968 is the second year. So second year Rod Carew in a three. No PSA three. Still very cool. Uh, this is a Gary Carter rookie card. And getting a four, okay? I know, they're, again, corners and edges and off-centered and all that nasty stuff. But, you know, Hall of Fame rookies. This is a Hall of Fame rookie that I probably got for two or three bucks. I'll do that every time. Uh, Gaylord Perry uh, rookie. So 1963 rookie stars, Dick Egan. Hilly Navarro, Gaylord Perry, and Tommy Sisk. And that got a four. And then, oh, the Carlton Fisk rookie. And that got a four. Cool. So, you know, that definitely gives me an idea of what to look for um, when I'm grading vintage for sure. You know, because I figured, you know, most of these were going to be ones just because of how hard they probably are on vintage. And uh, for them to, you know, come back in, in good shape would be rough. So, you know, if I'm getting fours on a lot of these, you know, there's fours, five, three. I knew that was a one, 100%. Okay, so, you know, to only get, like, one actual one, because there's a one and a half, right? You know, I'm. it's not bad. It's not bad. For most of these cards being one, two, three dollar pickups, like, right? I'll take that all day. So, you know, and Hall of Fame rookie, Hall of Fame rookie, Hall of Fame rookie, Hall of Fame rookie, right? Hall of Fame rookie. You know, Hall of Fame rookie. So we definitely, definitely take this. So hopefully you uh, enjoy checking that out. And maybe you kind of, you know, get a chance to look through and see these cards. And be like, okay, so if I grade these cards, you know, they could be four or fives. Or maybe yours is even better. That'd be sweet. Um, but hopefully you get a little more feedback on what your vintage cards might grade. So until next time, guys. Love you all. Stay safe. Take care, everyone.